Hello everybody, how's it going? Doctor Incompetent here, and let's play Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel, shall we? I am a person who has never seen the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime, except for an extremely short, uh, maybe images or clips where I see people holding cards between their index finger and their middle finger, you know, in a very threatening manner. And I've never played the card game. But I know that it exists, and I know that it's extremely popular, and that the cards are valuable. I'm a long-time player of Magic the Gathering and other collectible card games, both digital and physical. And so, uh, a buddy of the channel, Rick, pointed this out on our Discord, that the game has come out on Steam and was extremely popular, and I wanted to check it out. And I saw, oh, it's just kind of like, you know, not necessarily like MTG Arena, but it is the official digital foray of this popular card game. And I thought this there couldn't be a better time to get started playing it. So I'm going to give it my very first time um, doing the tutorial and booting up this game. Let's go. All right, so uh, mercifully, there is a tutorial, and let's try it. Yep. Uh, okay, so we're going to practice. All right, and we're going to practice duel. Learn how to play Master Duel. Here, you're here, you'll learn how to summon monsters and use spell cards. Fantastic, and it looks like there's rewards. Uh, you know, so there's some currency in this game. I don't know if it's a, a freemium-style, you know, gotcha translation of the format or what, but let's just go for it. Okay, indeedy. Here we are on the battlefield. Reduce your opponent's life points LP to zero. Okay, sounds good. Draw phase. Main phase one. All right. Turn change and my turn, I guess. Okay, so they want me to draw. So I'm just going to take a moment here to look at what's happening on the screen. So first of all, the artwork... Oh, I just drew, I guess. Beckoned by the World Chalice. Uh, the artwork on these cards is really, really interesting. I see that Konami is the producer of this game, and I don't know if they actually produce the physical card game as well, or, um, you know, who does that. Uh, like I said, I have n really no knowledge of Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, but... The artwork is very, very classic on these, like, 90s. I don't, then again, I don't even know when it originated. Um, I'm the Vagabond. I've got 2,000 hit points, so magic gives you 20. This gives you 2,000. I've drawn a monster card, apparently, and they've already played a 1,500-something with two stars Digitron. Um, okay. Let's summon a monster. Indeed, let's summon a monster. Uh, how do we do that? Standby phase. All right, main phase one. Okay, so here's my thing, and let's see. This is called Beckoned by the World Chalice. It's a warrior normal. His battle with the Mech Strocitites. Mech Mechstrocities never seems to end. That's a word. Even when their forest was invaded by Mechstrocious insects. He stood his ground and inspired the other defenders around him. Okay, so um, there's four stars here. I don't know what that means. It looks like I do 1,800 damage. I have zero defense, and I have a tribal of being a warrior. Uh, so uh, I can either set it down or summon it, I guess. Uh, let's summon it. Select position for beckoned by the world chalice it looks like we have lanes uh so if i put it across from this does that mean that they will attack each other and that oh there's even some squares up here but i can only pick these five at the moment so i'm going to kind of put it like right across from him so that they fight you can only summon once per turn okay i see no resources like that appeared to take no energy or anything to do 
Uh, no mana or anything, so that's cool. And I have no cards in my hand, apparently. Let's proceed to the battle phase and try attacking. Okay, let's do that. Um, so I have to push this big button. All right. And we want to change to battle phase. Let's try attacking a monster. Okay, let's do that. So I click on mine, and I say, please attack. And then it looks like I hit it. And I did... Um, the damage you inflict to, to your opponent's life points is equal to the amount your monster's attack exceeds your opponent's monster's attack. That's kind of a mouthful. Um, lots of possessives there. Anyway, um, so it's like everything has trample. Like, so I had 1,800, and I, I carried over 300 of my damage down to him. Okay. End your turn. Um, all right, I'll end my turn. So do I click the big button and I say end? I don't have anything to do on main phase two. I'm going to end the turn. Okay. Turn change. And they're drawing a card. And it's their main phase. And they've played a Neo bug uh, in my lane. And it looks like we're even, except it has defense. A huge bug-like monster said to come from another planet. It gathers in swarms. So... I don't know what that defense thing means, but it looks like I drew a spell card that says Smashing Ground. Destroy the one face-up monster your opponent controls that has the highest defense. Ouch! So I got some single target removal, and I'm going to just wreck this guy, and I think I'm going to kill him on this turn. If he can't block 1800, this dude's dead. Alright, activate a spell card. Okay, so uh, main phase one, here I am. I'm going to click on it. And I'm going to say, effect activation. And they only have one, um, select position. What does that mean? I'm going to put it in one of these squares, I guess. All right. Spell cards are primarily used during your turn. So does that mean there's no counter spells, no interrupts or anything like that? Responsive stuff? Let's proceed to the battle phase and try attacking. Alright, let's do it. Battle. You can attack even if your opponent has no monsters. That's right, that's what we're going for. You're about to get beckoned by the world chalice, buddy. Attack. Final blow. Oh my god. An explosion. I broke their side of the battlefield with that hit. I'm a vagabond. And my fir first dual partner, who is identical to myself in attire and face, is dead. All right, we did it. We get the 500 gems. A valuable gemstone with a mystifying glow. You can use these at the shop to purchase card packs and accessories. All right, fantastic. Let's practice. And... Learn how to play Master Duel. Here we will learn how to use trap cards and special cards that are effective in the graveyard. Okay, so trap cards then are kind of like perhaps the way of being interactive on the opponent's turn. Maybe they trigger under certain conditions. Let's find out. And if I clear this, looks like I get a deck of cards, which I love that. Look at these cards just flying at my face as I'm sucked into the black hole. Okay. Ooh, I, get, I have a hand now. Okay. Reduce your opponent's life points to zero. All right. Let's do that. Drawn. Stand by him. Let's try using a trap card. Let's try it. Set a trap card. Okay. Um, I'll do that. Main phase one. Here's a trap card. And this is called Skill Successor. It's a normal trap. Target one face-up monster you control. It gains 400 attack until the end of this turn. During your turn, except the turn this card was sent to the graveyard, you can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one face-up monster you control. That target gains 800 attack until the end of this turn. Um... So it's like later on, after I've done this, I can 
play it from my graveyard for an 800 point boost during my turn and then exile it, I guess. Or banish it in this game. Okay, so we're going to set this trap. Just, I'll put, I don't know if it matters which one of these I set it in. Trap cards can be used on the turn after they are set. So it kind of has summoning sickness. And I apologize, everyone. I am coming through this completely via the prism or lens of Magic the Gathering. And I pretty much do that with every CCG I play. You know, even though I've played Hearthstone, Magic, uh, Spellfire, uh, Star Wars Destiny, uh, S Star Wars the CCG, uh, you know, Lord of the Rings. I've played so many different card games, but everything still goes back to my first experience playing Magic. So that's kind of how I... It, it, that's like uh, my barometer uh, for evaluating mechanics. All right. Let's summon the monster. And it really dictates my vocabulary for the game itself. And we're going to summon our... Uh, monster, and I'm not going to set it down, which would be like to hide it, I guess. I'm going to summon it and just put it face up. Boom. Now it's not as strong as it was. It wasn't at 1800 last time. Am I... And it's the last one I had was four stars and was 1800. This one is the same. Oh, wait, maybe this is a different card. I think it's a different card. I'll have to look at it. End my turn. Okay. I got confused. I just saw World Chalice and I thought, same card. No, I think I got a different card here. I mean, yeah. Anyway. We also have more hit points. We have 4,000 life points. Um, your opponent's monster is attacking. So apparently there is no summoning sickness. And I didn't attack for some reason. I don't know why I wouldn't have attacked right there. Maybe, maybe if you go first, you can't attack. I don't know. Anyway. Um, your opponent has declared battle. Activate the effect of a card. So, because I have this down here, they know that I've, like, primed something, potentially. And so, I can activate this to boost up my own creature and potentially block or something? Or just... Or do I have to block? Do I get to choose if I block? Or do they get to choose if they're targeting my monster or targeting my face? Or how? I, we'll figure this out as we go. But I see, like, I don't understand everything. But maybe you put down monsters in your face-down uh, hand area of the game board or the set area. And it, like, you can fake having an interaction or something or a trap even if you don't. Like, bluff? I don't know. Anyway. Um, yeah, activate the effect. Activate a trap card before your monster is destroyed. Okay, please. Activate it. Yes. So I use this, and then my attack is going to go up. Confirm. And now I have 2,000 attack, and I killed its creature. Okay. Yes, this is... I apologize. This is definitely a different card. Draw that card. Um, all right. And we got Blade Knight, a warrior effect. Uh, okay. It's a warrior card with 1,600 attack and 1,000 defense. And my... Let's see here. Let me... Um, some cards can be activated from your graveyard for a special effect. That's right. My trap. Activate the skill successor in your graveyard. Okay. I go here and I say... Effect activation. This will give me a bonus of 800 attack. And I say, select this. And I guess, you know, put it on this guy. And then... Your monster's been powered up by a card in your graveyard. Indeed. Summon another monster. I will. The Blade Knight. Oh, look at this. Conveniently, it's exactly 4,000 damage. <laughs> Sweet. Gains 400 attack while you have one or less cards in your hand. Oh, it's going to be even more than that. It's going to be 4,400 damage I'm about to do. If you control no other monsters, the effects of flip monsters destroyed by battle with this card are negated. Okay, I'll have to figure out what that means. Summon this. 
and let's proceed to the battle phase and try attacking, okay? I do want to look at my card really fast, though. I can change this to defensive position. Interesting. Um, it's a psychic normal inspired by the world hero legends he heard as a boy. This crusader adds a piece to his armor from every mextrosity he destroys. He has set out on a quest from Fairy Lee to recover the seven world legacies and save the world. All right, so... Again, I know nothing about the story, but I just wanted to see that. And I don't know what defensive position means, but we'll learn that soon. Battle. Try attacking with a monster. Okay, can I not attack with both? Attack. Okay, attack with this one. Bam. And then... Oh, you attack like one at a time. Okay. Alright, you're dead. We win. Okay. Very good. All right, so this is similar to the uh, MTG Arena tutorial. They really gate your capabilities to introduce you slowly into a complex game, and that's fine. Uh, so we found a structure deck, starting deck, or we acquired this. Try a duel with this deck full of easy-to-use cards. Against tougher opponents, use spells, traps, synchro, XYZ, and link summons. Gotcha! Goal. Practice duel. Let's apply what we learned in the last two chapters in a duel. For this duel, each player will start with 4,000 life points. Reduce your opponent's LP to zero to win the duel. Let's do it. By the way, um, when I booted up this game, it asked me, do you know anything about the anime? Have you played before? Um, and have you even heard of this game or the app or something like that before? And I was like, no, I haven't done any of it. And so I'm getting a tutorial that's based on me answering no to all three of the initial questions that were searching for my level of knowledge with the Yu-Gi-Oh! franchise, which is minimal. Uh, and everyone, I want to say uh, just some shout-outs. If you like this video please give it a like it helps the channel tremendously if you want to come hang out and watch me uh, you can subscribe to the channel and watch me live on YouTube or uh, on Twitch you can join our discord to chat about the game give me tips uh, advice ask questions interact with the community and there's also links for becoming a member or a patron if you want to support the channel all of that stuff is excellent and everything is in the description below all right, so we've learned the basics of Duelist. Now remember everything you've learned so far and claim this next victory on your own. All right, let's do it. Let's claim this victory on our own. Okay, so I can only summon one monster per turn. And I can play a spell card. I don't know why this one's yellow and this one's blue, but we'll find out. Um, this one beckoned by the world chalice. This is the one I had in the first game. Um, is ostensibly stronger, so I'm, you know, just more attack. So I'm going to summon this one. What does this say? Um, Sorceress Spell Wall spell. All monsters you control gain 300 attack during your turn only. All monsters you control gain 300 defense during your opponent's turn only. And they haven't really explained what defense is in any way yet. Um, and they haven't really told me about anyway I'm just gonna I'm gonna set that down I don't know um, and so it goes over here it doesn't go back here that's confusing um, and then this is a spell card normal spell destroy one face up monster your opponent controls um, that has the highest defense so if I set this um, does that mean I can play it during their turn I don't know and then Dust Tornado, Normal Trap. Target one spell trap your opponent controls, destroy that target, then you can set one spell trap from your hand. So this would be like, is this a counter spell? Like if they cast a spell, for example, like this one, to kill my creature, single target removal, can I like flip this over and be like, boom, I'm gonna target your spell and destroy it. I don't know, but I'm gonna pretend it like I can. I'm gonna put that there and then 
I'm done. I'm going to say, uh, let's go to the... I guess I can't attack, maybe, on the first turn. They didn't really explain that. Like, maybe if you're on... Maybe you don't get a battle phase on, on if you go first. Maybe that's how they mitigate the going first advantage. I guess I just end the turn. All right, D spell. Um, ah, okay. So this this is like a chain must be like Yu-Gi-Oh's stack or something. So I can respond to this with my trap that I have primed. Um, what is this? D spell. Target one face-up spell or one set trap spell on the field. Destroy that target if it is a spell. If the target is set, reveal it. Okay, so they can like pick one. Um, I'm just going to um, do mine and get rid of theirs so they can't do anything else to me. So I'll target that, and I'm going to say confirm. And then it says chain. So there is... So it... Theirs was number one, and mine is number two. And I'm assuming it's like the stack, which is last in, first out. So even though my number is greater, you must resolve whatever is at the end of the chain first or something? Okay. And then he played a creature. And now he's chaining stuff. Um, what is happening? I have no idea what's going on. Okay, so they tributed this card which means excavate the top five cards of your deck. So that must have been what happened. They discarded five cards and add an excavated trap to their hand and then sent some stuff to their graveyard? Boy. Okay, there's a lot of mechanics and things happening that have not been explained in, in any way. So I'm kind of like, Okay, so you have something that's face down. Um, Alright. And I have one here, too. I don't want to do that. But I do get to play another creature. So let's play this. Um, let's summon it over here. Okay. And then, um, why is this glowing? What is this? Special summon. Wait, what? What do you mean, special summon? I have no idea what's going on over here. What what did I have that, that made this pile a thing? I know they excavated cards, but does that include me? Or, like, why am I... I really don't know what's going on. Okay, so special summon means, like, I can summon one of these... Like, this thing? Maybe this is just part of my deck. Maybe everybody gets this. But they don't have anything on their side. Like, in they have zero, and I have five. Alright, um... So I have a Mighty Warrior. One tuner plus one or more non-tuner monsters. I don't think I have a tuner, but here's a tuner. So I could have played this, maybe, to reveal this. Two level four monsters, okay. I'm assuming the stars mean level. Uh, I don't have two. Two normal monsters, okay. Non-effect monsters you control gain five attack. Defender of the Labyrinth. Also, all effect monsters your opponent's control lose 500. Um, okay. Boy, I have no idea what they're talking about. Two, three, three. Like, what that means. Oh, just how many monsters they require? Um, well, okay, well, I should be able to play this, right? Can I play it? I don't know. Select monsters to special summon. Yeah, this is the only one I can play. Um, I can just give my guys 500 attack. 
Select a card to send to the graveyard. No, I don't want to send one to the graveyard. Wait a minute, what happened there? I didn't see that. Okay. Um... Wait, so I have to I have to get rid of something to play this? Or I have to get rid of two of my things to play this? Oh, I don't I don't understand that at all. Um, okay, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna go to the attack phase. And I'm just gonna attack with this one. Okay. And do attack with that one. Alright. And then I'm done. I don't have anything to to do in main phase two. I'm done. Thank you. All right. Digitron. All right. A subspecies found in electronic space. There's little information on it. Okay, let's draw. And we drew Ballista Squad. Tribute one monster, then target one card your opponent controls and destroy it. So is tribute like sacrifice? Like, I have to sacrifice one of my monsters to play it? Anyway, um, I can kill this guy's creature with this, right? Or no, this one? You got anything if I do that and kill your creature? You know, you don't. And then I'll play the Toon Warrior right there. And then at this point, I could actually summon any of these because I have three monsters out. But I don't think... I don't see why I would want to do that. Um, okay, I can't play this right now, I guess? That's odd. Alright. Um, oh, I think I'm stuck in... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to do that. That's why I couldn't do it. Okay, I'm going to set this right there. And then uh, I'm going to go to the battle phase. I'm just going to... Can you block that? It says final blow. No, they can't. Boom. Absolute annihilation. We've won. All right. And looks like we leveled up. Okay. We got a level and experience. All right. Nice. Back. Complete. All right. We got 500 gems. We can use it to purchase card packs. And we cleared the gate. There are so many cards and duelists ready for you to discover. All right, great. Grab your new deck and venture out into the wide world of dueling. Fantastic. Choose your deck. Select to view contents. You can also acquire the decks you did not select by completing missions. All right. So I can get Power of the Dragon, Synchro of Unity, or Link Generation. Well, they all look pretty cool, but um, I can't say no to Power of the Dragon. All right, so a powerful deck that focuses on dragon-type monsters with high attack power, such as Blue Eyes White Dragon. If you have all the fusion materials on the field and summon King Dragoon, you'll be well protected. All right. Um, okay, cool. Looks like I get 40 cards in my main deck, 5 cards in my extra deck, which is like the special ones I can summon or whatever. And I say... Fantastic. Um, would you like to acquire this deck? Yes. Look at that. Blue Eyes White Dragon is, what, level 8? Kaiser Glider is a level 6. And King Dragoon is a level 7. Copied to my deck. Please enter player name. It's between 3 and 12 characters long. Okay. Um, Alright, that's how long it can be. Okay. All right, Doctor Incompetent. And, uh, okay. And now it wants to download 
a whole bunch of data uh, after we've gotten through the tutorial, and that is fantastic. And <laughs> while this downloads, I think this is a good stopping point for this initial episode. I've gotten into the game. I've seen the client. The client seems to run pretty smooth. The game looks good. The sound effects, everything um, seems reasonable about this game. I like it. I'm excited about it. But there's so much more to learn. There were so many keywords uh, and facets of the game that I have yet to understand. And I bet as I do quests and things or whatever the rest of the game entails uh, for the single player mode in terms of learning, hopefully there's more baked in tutorial that unpack some of these mechanics for me so I can get a firmer grasp on the strategy for the game. But I like what I see so far. And I want to say, everyone, thank you so much for watching. If you have any comments, like initial impressions, please leave those below. If you're a Yu-Gi-Oh! player, both of the physical game or this new digital version, tell me what you think. Do you recommend getting into it at this stage? Is this a fun game to play? Also, I have questions. Like, can you play this just PvE? Or is it only like a PvP-style um, brawling game? that you need to play other players. How reasonable is it to get a, a good deck? Do you have to spend a lot of money, or can you play a pretty effective deck uh, with, like, commons? Or I, I don't even know what the how the rarity of the game works. Um, but I'd love to hear from you guys. Please give your comments below, and I will uh, chat with you about this game. I hope you have an excellent evening or day, and I will check you guys next time. Thanks again for watching. Take care.